I'm gonna wait till some people come in here. There's one. Well, welcome guys to Electric City Speedway, Butler, Missouri, where we've got Pole Barn Garage here. It's a call out race. It was a call out race between Pole Barn Garage and Casey's Customs. As I understand, Casey was a no show. So we got Dalton here. He's over here in this uh, it's a, kind of a chrome colored station wagon. And we've got about five cars in the Pole Barn Garage. Uh, okay hit there. They're all car specifically Now they're out there racing. 
So if they break, they're not. I don't know how they're getting home. So there's like 150 laps. I'll just let you guys watch the race. You can look closely at Costa. That's Evan from Junkyard Digs and Hankins. They're getting the video from that time.
Ricky's garage is here. He's got the Ricky Bobby car over here. And apparently he's down right now. We're getting going again. Get back in the race. Like I said, Dalton's got five of his buddies out here in cars. And in this race with these disgusting. Who unfortunately did not make it. So back to the action. So to answer your question, I don't know what happened to Casey. I know Casey's car was really bad. I don't know if that's what kept him from coming or if he tried to make it. I, I honestly don't know. I just know he didn't make it according to what Dalton told me before he went out to race. But that doesn't stop Dalton. He brought five buddies. They got five cars in about two days ready for this race. Drove them to the track and now they're racing got about 150 laps, I believe. So let's get back to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
John, he worked so hard on that car. Somebody wow. lost their fuel tank. Wow. Not even kidding. Let's see if we can see this. We may have to burn that off. Basically, let me find him. Let's flip it around. And he just lost his UTV. It's now gone. Somebody dropped their fuel tank. And then it spilled fuel all over. It's fine. It's fine. I don't think you need that, right? Seems overrated. I think in uh, pole barn garage fashion, they're going to light this on fire. Seems very appropriate. For the keen eye, if you look right there. That is Kevin and Angus from Junkyard Digs. Trying to capture video on that side of the track. That's how you know you got good friends. Is they'll drive all the way down here just to help you film and work on cars. And just like that, we've got fire. Well, while we're prepping the track for more traction, 
guys go out there and share the uh, live feed. I tried to share it on the Whole Barn Garage group on Facebook, but feel free to share it out. Get everybody watching this. We've got over, about 100 or so laps to go. Dale, the stock car driver, is very consistent. He's been out there nonstop. He's brought five of his friends, and we're, we're watching all those guys out here, you know, driving cars that literally they built in two days and then drove to the track. So it's Pole Barn Garage. This, what can you expect? So while we uh, temporarily set the track on fire, I'll try to catch you guys up. So here we are at Electric City Speedway, Butler, Missouri. Um, Dalton called out Casey's Customs on YouTube and said, hey, show up at this enduro race. It's, uh, it's, it's gonna be a heck of an event. There's a prize if you actually win, which let's be honest, nobody's probably gonna win, but um, the whole point was one was gonna beat the other. Casey's Customs picked the worst car in the world to work on, and as he was trying to get it ready for the race, the rear end fell out. So unfortunate for him, but in the meantime, uh, these guys still, worked really hard, got their cars ready in a couple days, and then came out to the race. So yeah, so here we are, just in a little bit of a safety stop so we can set the track on fire. And then, uh, and we'll see what else. Oh, Dalton's coming over. Let's see what's going on. I guess he saw fire and just was immediately attracted to it. I don't know. He's probably disappointed he didn't get to set it on fire. Got a lot of people in the stands. Folks coming all the way uh, from Iowa, Missouri, Oklahoma, even Canada. Come watch Pole Barn Garage. Race Casey's Customs. Well, we got half of it anyway. We got Pole Barn Garage. Well, now that we're in a break, do you guys have any questions that I might have missed with all the noise going on? I couldn't quite catch all of the comments. Um, I saw a few, a few of them in there and tried to respond appropriately. Okay, it looks like they're pushing John's car off again. Hold on. Okay, John, watch out for the fire. You don't want invisible fire on you. Poor guy. We worked so hard on that paint job. Probably should have spent some time on the actual car itself. Dalton's being incognito behind the old O'Reilly sign there. I sure hope this is not the end. Well, that's not a good sign. Okay, guys, that was Dalton just getting pushed out. John just got pushed out. Uh, we're still under some caution right now for the fire thing. My question to you is, would you rather me sit here and watch the race without Dalton or go back to the pits and see what's going on? Put in the comments. Thirty-three and a third percent done. 
No one back leaves the room so bad at anything. Here's our leader. Held him pretty well today. We're back in the way. We're going to hold the car.
got two out of three going. Or three out of four, five going, however many. Of course. Okay. Was it the one you were using? Yes. Okay. That's probably the issue. It sat there and idled. I was like, well, that's probably somebody in gas tank. That's kind of what I thought. You know what, though? The car showed up. Now we should have a fuel pump. Yeah. Hands out of the way. There it is, folks. And in true Pomar Garage fashion, the car ran even after the gas tank fell out and was on fire. The car still ran. Finally ran out of gas and had to pull off. So apparently, you need that to race. Maybe if John's car doesn't go, we can put fuel in this one. I don't know. You know what, though? Your gas tank didn't fall out. The best I can do is twist a T. I'll take it. All right. Have fun. John's still in it. I'm very much not. That's all right. All right. She did good. All right, guys. Was that good enough? It's unfortunate, but Dale, stock car driver, is currently out. He made it about 51 laps before his fuel tank technically he made 50 laps before the fuel tank fell out and then he made one more lap and then sat there and idled while they set the gas tank and the, and the fuel on fire and uh it was during that time he realized hey the car's not running anymore maybe that's my fuel tank and it sure as heck was but john's got the old fake newton puma car there ready to go so I guess we'll wait for him to get back on the track and I'll try to grab you guys some more action. But unfortunately, with Dalton out of the race, I probably won't do the whole race. Feel free to, you know, comment below. <laughs> but thank you all for watching so far. Um, like I said, share it out. Let people see what's going on out here. He had a lot of people show up, except for the guy he called out, which was Casey's Customs. So... I guess it is what it is. We all wanted to see him finish. We wanted to see him race. Um, but that's that's how it goes. All right, let's go back. John's coming in. Yeah, I'm to go Sure. Yeah, man. I can make up stories while you're gone. I want to carry the mic with me. Because the other one's down. I find out something interesting, like a special. Right, so. I'm going to go check out Kilowatt Cafe so I can be up here for half time if there is a break at 75 laps. Do we know that? Are they going to break at 75? You see these guys right here? They're running polebarnmerch.com. Head on over to polebarnmerch.com and get your pole barn merch. Hats, t shirts, sweatshirts, whatever you need. All right, guys, I'm going to point you towards the race track. How did he complete a whole extra lap? And then idle. <laughs> that was his gas tank. But he did a whole other lap and then idle. Maybe how he can make out of This is why he used a boat tank. But John's back.
Oh no. John's out again. I honestly think we should have spent more time on the car instead of the paint job. While that's happening, I notice John's out again. I think John went to go get a chicken sandwich. It's like Kevin from Junkyard Digs is working on the car, so he can't get it running again. Apparently a mobile pit crew.
Well, guys, it looks like we are stopped again. I'm sure what's going on exactly. Oh, they had to push the guy off. That's what it was. But out of the five cars Dalton brought with his friends here, it looks like John is technically still in the race, so four are still going. But John is either taking a pit stop or or his car is So let's move on to that. Three cars left in the race for Bull Barn Garage. And I'm not trying to talk bad about anybody, but zero for Casey of Justice.
quite a few laps left to go. I can officially say I only see two of the Pole Barn Garage cars still in the race. Uh, I want to count. I want to count John. But if Kevin from Junkyard Dicks can't get it running, it's probably done. And that's okay. But in the meantime, there are still two cars left in the race that Pole Barn, you know. I, I just want to say this, guys. Anybody can go have fun. For 500 bucks and just a couple days with your buddies, you can build a car, take it out here on the track, and just tear it up for 150 laps. You might not finish, you might get crashed, or you might win. Either way, it's a win. As old Mike Finnegan would say, best day at work ever. So this black wagon right here, that's Zane. He also has a YouTube channel, but don't ask me what it is right now because I forgot. He's very new to YouTube. Zane is the guy that takes most of Dalton's cars that he's done with and scraps them. And then the other one, believe it or not, is this red number four car. And this guy drove this car all the way from Iowa, fully loaded, velour interior, the whole works. And we shot out the windows, painted a four on it, and here he is racing. Oh, the 51's back. So we got three cars back in it. That silver one with the 51 on the roof. That's a third car for Pole Barn Garage. Chrysler Fifth Avenue, I'm telling you, it's keeping up. Yep, and Zane is that black wagon. And in the 52. Seem to have lost him. 
So they just announced the guys 113 laps in, about 37 laps to go. Got a few cars going off the track here. And they're gonna get started again. And basically, I'll just wrap up this live. Uh, as you guys saw, Dalton brought his car, drove it to the actual racetrack. Him and five buddies built these cars in two days for about 500 bucks. Got them out here. Again, drove them on the highway, then drove them on the track. And so far, we had three out of five left, and I think we're down to two again. So I'll try to update you, but back to the racing. And John. John's back in. And John's back out. He tried. He was just getting going and somebody rear-ended him. And somebody just hit the wall. Fifth Avenue is just holding the zone. He's not the fastest one out there, but he is consistent. Got another spin out over here. We're full stop again. So, part of racing, it's about safety. These guys come out here, and let's be honest, they're just junk. These cars are garbage. They're worse than most people drive on the street, but only barely. Um, so, when you have a breakdown, you have a stop. We just shut everybody down, clear the field, and then reset. I'm officially seeing, okay, so the third Dalton car is coming back. This is not Dalton, it's one of his friends. We're back in with three cars. K Garage, this is 
Butler, Missouri, Electric City Speedway. We're watching the 150 lap enduro race for Pole Barn Garage. Called out Casey's Customs. Casey didn't make it. And Dalton made it 51 laps before he, he got out. His uh, actual fuel tank fell out of the car. Fixed the drive. So unfortunately, Dalton's out. But. But three of Dalton's friends, who all built their cars in a couple of days uh, at Pole Barn Garage, three of his of the five cars are still in the race. So there's a 51 black wagon and a beautiful red uh, Fifth Avenue. I think he's got red velour. Beautiful car. It might be two, that's saying. We have to figure out what's going on. Heck, at this point, two out of five ain't bad. That car has been consistent. Zane has not had one issue this whole race until now. So you gotta give it to the guy. Yeah, M and K, this track is really good. I've been to several dirt tracks and I have to say, you know, they've done a good job of prepping this track. They've got good seating, decent pit area. Really cool people. A lot of fun. Had some really great racers. And Zane's back in, guys. There you go. Get somebody. Just like that, three cars back in.
and we got another car stopped over here. This one uh, is not looking happy. A little Cheech and Chong action going on there. And in line we've got Zane in the black car. The 51 right behind him. And that red 5th Avenue up there. Those three are the three guys that came with Dalton. So Dalton's out, John from Mad Scientist Garage, he's out. But these three guys are still hanging in there. It is a beautiful evening. Trying. They're pushing, trying to get in those last laps.
guys, last lap. lap enduro race. Uh, Dalton Polvon Garage brought five of his friends with five cars. They drove from his place in outside Kansas City down here to Butler, Missouri to Electric City Speedway. They drove them, that's right, then put them on the track and three out of the five cars finished. Unfortunately, Dalton was out after 51 laps. He lost his whole fuel tank, just fell out. But in perfect full barn style, they set it on fire. And then uh, John from Mad Scientist Garage also tried his darndest to get his car to stay running, uh, but we spent more time on the paint job than we did the actual car, so unfortunately he was out. So three out of five cars ain't bad. All right, so that's all I got for this live. I want you guys to, all, as always, check out Buff's Garage, check out Pole Barn Garage, Junkyard Digs, Mad Scientist Garage, all the guys that participated. Make sure to hit up their social media. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.